What's up? It's Cherith the Starry-Eyed Tarot Reader. Um, today I am doing a VR to Lunaria 33. Uh, this is the Elemental Dex tag that she started. Um, so we're gonna go go through my uh, Elemental Dex. And I'll put a link to her, her video and her prompts uh, in the description box below so you guys can take a look at that and join in and watch the other videos. They're pretty cool. Um, so the first element is the um, earth element. I have four, four decks for this. Um, so the first earth element deck that I chose is the uh, Cosma Visions Oracle deck. Um, I chose this one partially because of the color. <laughs> it's green um but also this this does feel like a very sorry <laughs> very grounding uh earthy deck it's got a lot of like nature elements in it and it's just overall it's it's got a lot of earthy colors in it um so that's the the first uh like earth elemental deck that I chose. Love these holographic edges. Um, the second one I chose is the Neon Moon Tarot. Um, this one is definitely not green. It's, it's black and pink and like a purple or blue color. Um, but there's something about this deck when I work with it, it feels very grounded, um, very connected to, to the now, um, to, you know, current times. Um, so I feel like this is a very earth elemental type of, of deck. third earth elemental deck is actually the serpent fire tarot um i thought about putting this in the, the fire elements um but again this is one of those decks for some reason for me anyway it feels a very grounding deck um i go to this this deck when i want you know solid solid answers um answers that'll that'll ground me that'll that'll bring me back to to the here and now um this is the deck i go to for that so that's the reason i put it in in the earth element um and then the last deck for the earth element is the white newman sorry, that I chose for the Earth Element is the White Newman Tarot. Um, this deck is also, uh, I feel like it's very like nature-based, um, very, very grounded, very real and, and like present. And it, in my opinion, has a lot of like those earth, earthy colors and, and just like an earthy vibe. Um, so that's why I chose that one for my earth, earth elements. Ooh. Sorry, that was probably really loud. <laughs> I, was try I was trying not to be loud and it didn't work. <laughs> So for the water element, uh, I again have uh, four decks. The first one I chose is the Starseed Oracle uh, by Danielle Noel and Rebecca Campbell. Um, this is one of those decks that I just, it just feels very, very watery to me. And there's a lot of water elements in there. It's got that, you know, blue, purple, watery vibe to it I mean um, 
yeah so that's why I chose this deck for the water element and then the next deck I chose for the water element is the Muse Tarot um, by Chris Ann I'm in the process of modifying this deck I'm coloring the edges <laughs> Um, the reason I chose this for the water element is because for me, this deck is a very emotional deck. Um, I've had several readings with this where it really just like, it gets, gets right down to the, the core of, of the emotions that I'm feeling and, you know, really lays it out for me. Um, so for that reason, this deck for me is a very, very watery very emotional deck. Um, the third deck is the White Seer's Tarot, also by Chris Ann, also for the same reason. Um, I tend to pair the Muse Tarot and the White Seer's Tarot um, because, again, they, they, for me, oh, I'm modifying this deck too. I'm like right in the middle of doing that for those. Um, this deck, again, for me, it just, it really helps me like understand and manage my emotions. I know that sounds weird, but um, it, it feels a very emotional deck. It really, really does. Um, so that's the reason I chose this for the, uh, for the water element. And then the last deck for the water element that I chose really doesn't need much explanation. It's the Gentle Tarot. I love this deck so, so much. Um, Marisa, or Mari, I'm not sure uh, what she prefers. She is such an amazing creator and I follow, follow her on Insta. I've followed um, her other Kickstarter and it's she's she's an amazing person. This deck is so I mean it's gentle. It's emotional. It's 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 got it's got the good vibes. <laughs> um the reason I chose this for the, the water element is is for exactly that. It's gentle, it's emotional, it's just absolutely beautiful, beautiful deck. Um, so that is my my decks for the water element. Um, so the next element is air. And the first deck I chose for that is the White Strider Tarot. Now I have the mini one. Um, you can see me talk about this more on my uh, mini deck collection video. Um, I did just get finished modifying this deck. Um, someone commented and suggested it on that video. The comment has disappeared. I don't know why. Um, I'm really sad about it because it was such a nice comment. Um, but I chose this for the air element because, I mean, that's a pretty airy deck. It's, it's so open. Uh, and I don't want to say sparse, but I mean, it's just got that airy, open feeling um, with the quality of the illustrations. It's just very, very airy feeling to me. So that's the first deck for the air element. Oh, sorry, I didn't say it. I have uh, four decks for this one too. Uh, the second one for the air element is an oracle deck. This is um, called Bird Messages. Um, I chose it for the air element because it's full of birds. Uh, I can't get more airy than a bunch of animals flying around in the sky. Yeah, 
so that's the second deck for the air element. The third deck I chose for the air element is the Lubanko Tarot. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite decks. Um, you'll, you'll see it a lot on this channel. I'll talk about it a lot. I'm planning on doing a video on it. Um, but I chose this one uh, for the air element because this one really it really makes me think. <laughs> it, it forces me to to really dig deep and and really really contemplate, um, which is you know an air element quality. Um, so that's the reason that I chose this this deck for the air element. That is the Lubanko Tarot. The last deck I chose for the air element is the Crow Tarot. Um, this I chose for the air element not just because it's crows, but because it's another one of those those decks for me. It really makes me think. Um, it, it, you know, I, I have a tendency to, to live in, in, in my head and overthink a lot of things. And this deck really calls me on that and it really makes me like, like consider that and, you know, kind of helps me step outside of that and really dig down to, to what the issue is. Um, so that's why I chose that deck for the air element. All right, moving on. The next one is the fire element. Um, so the first deck I chose for this one is the Dark Days Tarot. Um, this may seem like an unusual choice. Um, most people have called this like a very earthy, very grounding deck. For me, it's a very fiery deck. I have a fun story about this one. Uh, my deck collection video on this isn't up yet, but um, I'll go into more detail then. I got this deck used and it it has a very for me anyway a very fiery energy um you know it really just like burns through the bullshit and it, it has that that fire element energy i love this deck um so that is the dark days tarot uh, I have three decks for the uh, the fire element, if I forgot to say, which I know I did. Um, so my second deck for the fire element is the Santa Muerte, Ooh, Santa Muerte Tarot. <laughs> Lost track of where I was in the, in the camera, sorry. Um, this one I chose for the fire element because it just feels like a very fiery deck. And the illustrations are just very like in your face and, and it just, I don't know, gives me a fiery sort of feeling. So that is the Santa Muerte Tarot. Um, the last deck that I chose for the fire element is actually a new deck uh, to my collection. I haven't done I've done one reading with this, sorry, it's the Mystical Medley's Tarot. I've done exactly one reading with this because I just got it. Um, and I always do at least one reading with with decks that I get. Um, I'll probably be working with this deck uh, next month. It's not on my list of decks I'm working with for the month of June, but I'll probably work with it in July. Um, but I did one, one reading with this deck and when I was putting together my list, this was like the first deck that popped to mind. <laughs> so I have a feeling it's going to be a very, very fiery deck for me. Um, I really like the, the vibes <laughs> of this deck. Um, and I was very, that very cartoony vibe. I'll talk about this more later. I don't, I don't want to spend too much time talking about the individual decks on these whenever we're talking about them 
uh, in like the deck collection videos. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be very fiery, fiery deck for me, I think. And that's the Mystical Medleys Tarot. It's always great when like you just bought a tarot deck and you're doing something like this and it's the first one that pops into your head. It's like, oh, we're, we're gonna have an interesting time. <laughs> um, so that was for the fire element. The next one is the shadow element. And the first one I chose is the Nicoletta Ciccoli. I have the mini version. Um, this really shouldn't be surprising. I know a lot of people uh, use this deck for shadow work. Um, I don't use this for shadow work or like inner child work, but there is something about this deck that just feels very, very shadowy, you know, very soft, very like hiding in the corners type of, of energy. Ooh, come back. <laughs> Um, so that's the uh, Nicoletta Ciccoli mini. The, uh, I only have three decks for this one. Um, the second deck I chose for the shadow element is the Wayward Dark Tarot. Um, this is a Thoth based deck um, and it is, in my opinion, a very shadowy, very shadowy deck. Uh, not only is it monochromatic, but it's got that, that like darker energy. Um, best way I can think to describe this is that sometimes when I'm reading with it, I feel like, like I'm sitting in a case <laughs> and, and looking at the cards, um, kind of while sitting in the dark is how it feels to me. So that's why I put that one in the shadow element category. Uh, the last deck for the Shadow Element is the True Black Tarot. Um, I think it's another one of those pretty self-explanatory why this would be in the Shadow category, Shadow Element category. It's, I mean, it's all black with like hints of white. Um, this is also a fairly new deck to my collection, but I absolutely I've fallen in love with it. I cannot imagine not having it. Um, but yeah, it's, like I said, it's a very, you know, got some, it's, it's a very shadowy kind of, of deck. Um, so those are the shadow element decks that I picked. And then the last category is uh, light element. So I have three decks for this one. The first one is the Shadowscapes Tarot. This is the only, like my my version is the only version I've seen that has a, a box like this. I'm not sure why this was gifted to me by uh, an ex friend and I'm not sure where she got it. Uh, hopefully it's an official version. Anyway, <laughs> um, but this to me, it's just a very light, a light deck, I mean, Compare it with like the true black tarot, and this is like a polar opposite of that one. It's just full of light. I mean, yeah. So that's why I chose that one for the light element. And then the second deck I chose is the Santa Muerte Oracle. Well, this one, it doesn't feel white like the illustrations are pretty you know <laughs> like that there's something about working with this deck that feels to me to be very like it shines a light into into my world um so that's the reason i chose that for the light element it's not because of the illustrations but because just working with this deck feels very Yeah, very um, illuminating uh, for me. And then the last deck I chose for the light element is the Weaver Tarot. This is the Journeyer edition. Um, 
I mean, everything about this deck feels very light element. Oh, I like how my ring light is like reflecting off of the cards. I mean, yeah, no explanation needed. Look at that. It's all light and rainbow and reflective and beautiful. Um. <laughs> yeah, so those are my um, elemental decks. I'm not even going to try to put them all in frame, um, but I'll have a list in the description box of all of them. And like I said, I will link to uh, Lunaria 33's video. Um, I'll put some of them in. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. And bye until next time.